All right, everyone. So today we're going to cover some more substitution, All right? And this substitution, we're gonna cover these types of example two. Uh, in the previous assignment, we did example two, but it was a little different where the y was equal to only negative three x, right? Or it was x is equal to four y, something short, or well, with only one term. Here, it's two terms, which is actually what we did on this assignment, on this example two. But we're going to go on and do more examples like these on this assignment today. So let's do a couple of examples here. All right? So remember that this y here is already by itself, right? So solve the system by substitution. So this y is the same as this y. So that means that I can plug this in to this y right here, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to copy this second equation here, negative nine x minus two, but I'm gonna put a parentheses and instead of writing y, I'm gonna write this, these two terms here, negative two x, and plus one. And then I'm gonna finish it out equals three. So now I'm going to distribute this negative two here. So this negative two is gonna to go to the ne this negative two here, and this negative two is gonna to go to positive one. And they're going to multiply. So negative times negative is positive. Two times two is four x. Negative times positive is negative. Two times one is two. Now everything else, this negative nine x and this equal three, nothing happened to it. So I'm just gonna bring them all down just like this is equal to three. Now what's great here is, again, I'm gonna solve, I'm gonna draw my line of separation and I wanna solve for x. See, x is by itself here. So what's great is that look at these two x's are already next to each other, so I'm gonna combine these two right here. So a negative nine and a positive four are not the same sign, so I have to subtract. Nine minus four is five x, but what kind of five x? A negative, right? Because nine is a bigger integer than four and nine is a negative, so, okay? Now, it's clear that I want the x's on this side so I want regular numbers on that side. So this minus two here, I'm gonna cross it out and I'm gonna bring it over as plus two. So I'm left with five here and I'm left with negative five X here on the left side. Right. So negative five times X, so the odds, I'm gonna cross out negative five because I wanna get X by itself. And the opposite or the inverse of multiplying is dividing by negative five. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. Five divided by five is one. So I get X is equal to negative one. So as a reminder, all our answers here need to be X comma Y, right? So I have my X, I got X, perfect. I have my X, but now I need to find my Y. So step two, is I'm gonna choose the easiest equation between these two and bring it over. Now the easiest one is the one that already has the variable solved. Y is already by itself. So I'm gonna bring this Y over, this equation over just like that. So I'm gonna say Y is equal to negative two. Now I know it has an X there, but I already know what X is. X is negative one. So instead of x, I'm gonna write parentheses, negative one. And then another parentheses, and then I'm gonna close it out, plus one. Finish it out, I'm sorry, plus one. So I'm gonna draw my line of separation. My goal is to get y by itself, which it already is, perfect. So I'm gonna multiply here, negative two times negative one. Negative times negative is a positive. Two times one is two. And then plus one, I'm just gonna bring it down. Two plus one is equal to three. So I have y equals three. I needed x and y, I have x and y. So my x is negative one. 
my y is 3. And there you go. That's how we do that problem right there. So let's try a, another, the second example here. So on this one, it looks a little different, right? If you notice, x is by itself here, right? So I want to get, so this x is by itself, is the same as that x right there. So that means that I can plug this in to x right here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's take a look. So 3, I'm going to write 3. I'm going to copy this equation, right? 3. But instead of writing x, I'm going to write parentheses. And I'm going to write these two terms here inside the parentheses. 6y minus 7, parentheses. Now I'm going to finish it out. Minus 8y equals negative 31. So I'm going to distribute here. 3 times 6 and 3 times negative 7. 3 times 6 is 18y, right? Can't forget my y. Uh, positive times negative is negative. 3 times 7 is 21. And then you see the, the rest here, minus 8y equals negative 31. I'm just going to bring them down. Minus 8y equals negative 31. I'm going to draw my line of separation here, and my goal is to get y by itself. Right? Bring this up a little bit. Now, 18y and negative 8y go together, so I'm going to draw a triangle between those two. 18 minus 8 is 10. Y. Now, I want to leave my Y's here. So that means I'm going to move this negative 21 over that way. So I'm going to cross out minus 21. And I'm going to put positive 21 on this side. So now I have only numbers here and only Y's here. Right? So negative 31 and a positive 21 are not the same signs. So we have to subtract 31 minus 21 is 10. And 31 is bigger and it's a negative, so that means this is negative 10 as well. So this 10y, I'm gonna write it over here over again so it's lined up here. So 10y means 10 times y. So the inverse or the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm gonna cross out this 10 here where it's multiplying and it's going to come over to the right side where it's going to divide. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. 10 divided by 10 is 1. So I got my y. Now remember, our goal is to get x comma y. So I have my, x, my y already, right? But now I'm going to find my x. Now, if you notice, again, I'm going to find the easiest equations between these two. Well, x is already solved here. So I'm going to bring this one over, this equation here. And I'm going to start with 6y. But instead of y, I already know what y is, right? y is negative 1. So I'm going to put parentheses negative 1. And I'm going to finish it out. Minus 7 is equal to x. I'm going to draw my line of separation here. I want to get x by itself, which is on the right side here now, right? Which x is already by itself. So 6 times negative 1, positive times a negative is a negative. 6 times 1 is 6. Minus 7 comes down here like this. So I'm going to put these two together. These are the same sign. They're both negative, negative 6 and negative 7. So I add them together. So 6 plus 7 is 13. 7 is bigger than 6, and 7 is a negative. So my answer is negative as well. So my got, I got my x is negative 13. So my final solution is x comma y. x is negative 13 y is negative 1. There you 
there you go. So those are the two types of questions you're going to see on Delta Math for this assignment.